Hey everybody, so in this video you're going to be finding out how you can biohack your omega-3 levels in 90 days so you can become healthy. So stay tuned. Yo, it's me Amir. Okay, you ready for this video right now? Today, a lot of people are talking about omega-3 levels. First of all, omega-3 levels, what are they? Second of all, what do they do for your body? Third of all, how do you improve them? Well, I'm gonna be showing you right now. Step one is, what is an omega-3? Okay, right here is a simple diagram. I mean very, very simple. I want you to really understand this. This is a magnified version of your cell, okay? So think of your cell as a donut, right? So you got the outer layer and you got the inner layer. So it looks like a big ass donut. Now this is just a section of that donut. However, within that section, you got things called phospholipids. So for example, this is a phospholipid. It has a head and it has a tail. One tail will go straight and the other tail will be like a kink, okay? That is a healthy phospholipid. And this is where omega-3 comes in because a phospholipid is omega-3, a flexible omega-3 rich phospholipid, okay? That's why you need omega-3 in your body or healthy levels of omega-3 that is because when you have healthy levels of omega-3 you actually have a healthy cell so why is omega-3 so important in your body why do you need to have these you know flexible types of you know heads and tails going around within your cell membranes very easy I'm gonna simplify this think of these phospholipids as bodyguards right they're standing over here and they're protecting you know the most pimp ass you know fantastic nightclub in the world right and they're only going to let the cool people in, okay? So these are your bodyguards. They dictate who's going to go in your cell and who's not going to go in your cell. Super, super important, okay? So for example, if you got unhealthy levels of omega-3, you know, with high levels of omega-6, they're going to have these like bad, rigid phospholipids. They're going to have these like, <laughs> I like to call them like, you know, bouncers who really don't look out for your club type of phospholipids, okay? So they're gonna be there half-assing you, looking around over here, and then people are just gonna be, you know, running around inside and there's no control. And that's a problem. When you have low levels of omega-3 or unhealthy levels of omega-3, all these other like heavy metals, viruses, communications between cell to cell completely screw up. You become sick because your bouncers aren't there, and then basically, well, disease happens and the rest is history, right? So that's why omega-3 is super important, okay? Now the question is, how do you balance it, right? You keep on hearing people talking about, well, you need fish oil. Fish oil this, fish oil that, fish oil, fish oil, fish oil. Okay, wait a second. I think we've gone overboard over here. Let's go back to the drawing board and really figure out and quantify what in the world is going on, okay? Are you with me? Let me turn around. This is the Amir approved protocol for rebalancing your omega-3 levels. Quite simple. Step one, we can't improve what we don't know in our bodies. What that means is we gotta test what your levels are in the first place. How many of you gone out there and bought copious amounts of fish oils or krill oils or whatever, you're taking them every single day, you're like, huh, this is fun, this is so good, and you don't know what the heck's going on. You don't know if your levels are going up, maybe they're even going down, I don't know, right? So you gotta record where you're starting from. There's a great test from Genova. I have no affiliations with this lab. I don't make a penny from this lab. I use them because they're affordable and you can do them at the comfort at your house. So it's a fatty acid test. They ship it to your house. You prick your finger, you put it on a little slide, you send it back, two weeks later, you got your number. So they're gonna test for omega-3 levels, omega-6, omega-9, and saturated fats. They're gonna look at all your fatty acid ratios, and they're gonna tell you, hey, this is what's going on in your body. That's the first step, okay? Once you have your levels, so say you have maybe like, so a healthy level would be say two to one these days, right? So six to, omega-6 to three would be two to one. One to one is like you're the top of the top, super optimal, you're running a Ferrari engine in your body. Now, once you have your ratios, you know exactly where you're starting. Step two is rebalancing. As you can see, I didn't put fish oils in step two. No, 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 no. You know, you know me, guys. I'm all about whole foods, real foods, because Mother Nature provides for us. So step two is, where do we find the most abundant uh, abundance of omega-3s in the world? Sea life, baby. Okay, three things that I eat on a daily basis. Sardines, salmon, and shrimp. 
I want you guys to include this in your diet as much as humanly possible. You can start small, but work your way up. Forget the fish oils from now. I want you guys to at least include about, you know, one of these three items at least three to five times per week. Whether that's lunch every single day or breakfast every single day or you know dinner doesn't matter but please try to include these because mother nature knows best you know within the sardines you have omega 3s omega 6 b vitamins other you know fat soluble vitamins such as a d e k and all of these work synergistically together as opposed to fish oil so that's your first step including more sea life inside of your diet the third step is the fish oil step okay and this is a really tricky one. I'm not a big fan of using fish oils for a very long time. I like short durations. I like to use them for a specific reason, for a specific protocol, and that's that, okay? That being said, my top three picks for fish oils out there is number one, green pastures, fermented cod liver oil, fantastic. Number two is Nordic Naturals, and finally number three is Carlson's. Pick whatever you want, uh, it doesn't matter with me. However, this is super, super important. I want you guys to roughly take three grams a day for up to 90 days, okay? Because this is going to lead me into step four, okay? Remember, 90 days only, three grams a day. Please take it with any meal, whether that is breakfast, lunch, or dinner, okay? And this is a side note. If you notice that you're burping any of that fishy taste, like you're burping it up, reduce that down to one and then slowly work your way up, okay? Some people just can't handle so much that fish oil at once. And finally, the magic, step four. 90 days later or 120 days later, it's up to you. I'll personally do 90 days later. 90 days later, retest your blood again. Reorder the fat, fatty acid test, okay? And see what's happening. Quantify your results because I want you guys to, to really stop wasting your money out there. What's the point of buying all of this stuff and you're buying these supplements if you don't know what's going on in your body? So please retest and see where you're at. It's simple as that. Let's repeat that process one more time. Get tested eat seafood, have some fish oils for, you know, about 90 to 100 days, retest and repeat. Simple as that. Okay, that pretty much concludes my video on how to biohack your omega-3 levels. If you enjoyed this video, I would highly appreciate it if you leave a comment below. Let me know, you know, what experiences you have with fish oils. Have you done this test already? You know, I would love to know your thoughts. Second of all, please share this video, subscribe to my channel. But wait, before you go, I'm gonna offer you something super cool. Below this video is a link to my free biohacking course where I show you how to optimize your mind, body, hormone, sleep within 121 days. All you gotta do is click the link below and that's about it. Till then warriors, remember, live, breathe, grow. Have a great day, take care.